Good morning, good morning, happy Friday, happy Friday family, welcome to the word and prayer. Amen. And this is of course your favorite evangelist together with the beautiful African queen. It's always a pleasure and an honor, a privilege to Amen. be with every single one of you. Amen. Therefore, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate you making time for the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. You you want to say something? <laughs> My hair is sticking up this your, morning. Your hair is sticking up. It's a Friday. <laughs> well, if it sticks it just, out on Friday, yeah. then yeah, it's all good. <laughs> pra praise God. Praise God. So um, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Amen. So come on, take a few of your friends, of your family members. Uh, uh, um, if you know that your God is able He's got to be able in their lives Amen. as well, not Amen. only in your life. So therefore, take a few people. Uh, we're going to have a great time in the presence of the Lord on this beautiful Friday. Thank you for all of you who are already coming down with the password. Drop it, man. Drop Amen. it. If you're excited today, it's Friday. Amen. TGIF. We Amen. are thanking God. It's Friday. Amen. Hallelujah. The weekend is on and we cannot wait to be in the house of the Lord on Sunday. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So I see all of you with the password right there, Siabonga. Uh, she says, good morning, family. Amen. And she has dropped the password. Mm -hmm. Sandra Q as well, together with her family. Amen. Uh, Brother Jabu Koleza, together with your two beautiful children. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Unati Mpachele, good morning. She's dropped the password. Thank you, guys. Let's get it going. Babs. Uh, says, good morning, family. May God's Amen. blessing be upon you today. Mm. Amen. We take that word. Hallelujah. We pray for the blessing of God to come Amen. upon all of us this morning. Thank you, Hallelujah. Bob, for that message. Uh, Cheryl, out in uh, 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 the West End, mm. we must get used to that. <laughs> we must get used to the fact that you are now in the West No Red. longer down the road, not, our yeah, neighbor. Not just, not just here, not just <laughs> down the road. But thank you, uh, Cheryl Ann, for waking up Amen. and joining us this morning. She dropped yeah. the password as well. Yes. Maria in the States. Yes. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, Connie Barkes, TGIF. Yeah. That's say, that's say Connie Barkes <laughs> on Vardirio Baya. What? Ah, that's safe. What hot does man. that mean now? We, ons... are, we appreciate her a lot. Oh, oh wow. Ons, yeah. ons var... Vardier Vardier yeah. Yobar, Baya. Baya. All right. You got to so... get with the program, girl. <laughs> you got to get with this Afrikaans anointing. Hey, flow. The Afrikaans anointing must just flow, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. Sandra uh, tagged a few people. Yes. Uh, Pumlani, the man of God, uh, out in Cape Town. Uh, he says, morning, beautiful family. Good morning to you too, man. Good morning. It's always so good to, to spend time with you guys. Yeah. And um, yeah, there we go. There we go. We're going to open up in prayer this mm. morning on this beautiful Friday. Amen. And I can almost guarantee you the Lord is going to encourage you. Mm. He's going to lift up your spirit this morning Amen. in Jesus' name. Uh, Connie you. says, doon baya chut pinky. Oh, okay, okay. Baya okay. danki Se, wa. Say, says amperdar. Say, says amperdar, Connie. Okay. I'm, ma it. I'm married to a free state boy, so yes. Hak freistat. Hak freistat. Hak freistat. Amen. Okay, Cindy Naidu says morning. Uh, good morning to you too there, Cindy Naidu. So we're going to open up in Amen. prayer right now and just commit the word and prayer Amen. to the Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you that you have been good to us. Amen. You have been great. Father, in our lives, we thank you for our daily bread, the provision, Father, that you continually pour out into our lives. We thank you for our jobs, Lord. Yes. We thank you, our families, yes. mighty God. Yes. We thank you for the peace that is in our families. Oh, yes. We thank you for the joy mm. of the Lord that is our strength this yes. morning. Mm. Therefore, we say, be lifted high, King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I pray that even this morning, Father, we will lift up our hands in your presence, Father. Yes. We will give you our best worship Yes. in the name of Jesus for who you are in our lives, Father. Yes. You deserve all the praise. Mm -hmm. You deserve all the honor and all the glory belongs to you this morning. Therefore, receive our praise, mighty God. Mm -hmm. Receive our worship this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray even for the word that will come forth today, Father. Mm -hmm. I pray that it will dwell in the hearts of your people, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let it bless their lives. Let it bring about a change change in their lives in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen, amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah praise hallelujah. the lord praise the lord where's tato where's tato tato is we, sleeping we miss a hallelujah she, she's sleeping she's sleeping <laughs> Sandra, on a, take, on a front, wake on a up, Friday, wake Friday morning 
this morning. Mm. Amen. Debbie says, good morning. Blessing. Amen. Good Hallelujah. morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Debbie. Thank you for joining yeah. this morning. Mm. Really appreciate you guys. Okay. And uh, so this morning, by way of starting, we're going to lay a foundation with our opening scripture from the book of Luke. Yes. Look in the book of Luke. <laughs> for those of you who know that song, God bless you. Look in the book of Luke. Yeah, we've uh, been uh, waiting for that song, the family. Is still coming, we're you know? still waiting. Yeah, Stand yeah, right. Yeah, there's processes, Pastor Pinky. Boy, too many, no? We're yeah. still waiting. Look in the book of Luke. Look in the book of Luke. And then it it's, goes on. It's going to be a great hit. It's going to be a great hit. Uh, <laughs> we are mastering the song right now. So. <laughs> You know, it, there's a there's a process. There's a process. There's a process. Yeah, the song mm. is being mastered right now. So very soon, Evangelist is going to drop that hook, that song, Look in the Book of Luke. Uh, um, it's going to bless your life. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So look in the Book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. Luke 1, verse 37. That is our, our, our scripture reading this morning. There's quite a few that we're going to be going through, quite a few scriptures this morning. Uh, uh, you see, Sandra is already catching on, man. Look in the book of Luke. <laughs> Hallelujah. Refula says, Amen and Amen. Thank you for joining as well there, Fifi, yeah, this yeah, morning. Yeah. The Lord bless you, my dear sister. Okay, so uh, the Bible in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37, it reads in this order. And I feel like I cannot read be before I say my favorite scripture. Yeah. The, the grass withers <laughs> and the flowers fade. But the word of our God shall remain forever. Forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm sure we all know that scripture by now. Come on now. Yeah. The grass withers, flowers fades, but the word of our God shall remain forever. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now we can get into the word. Now we now can. Now we can get in the word. Luke 1, verse 37. The Amen. Bible says, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Hallelujah. That's why our, our, our topic this morning, our subject is our yes. God yes. is able. Amen. Our God is is able. Amen. Isabel de Govea, uh, thank you for joining our dear sister yes. this morning. Mm. With God, nothing shall be impossible. And, and I love that. Uh, nothing shall be. And I've always uh, I'm liked that word shall. And you look at the definition of shall, it, it, it's a done deal. Mm. It's a done deal. There's no maybe. There's no if, there's no but, there is nothing mm. but shall. Yes. With God, nothing shall be impossible. impossible. Amen. Meaning that he can do all Amen. things. Amen. The Lord can do all things for you this morning concerning your life, concerning your situation. It shall all be possible with God. Amen. Amen. Rian Yulis out in Cape Town. He says, good morning, family. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Of God. Yo, Kapenar. <laughs> good morning, I, yo, Kapenar. This morning, this Afrikaans is flowing, yeah? <laughs> Praise God. Uh, Kobisa, <laughs> good morning. She says, good morning, family. She's out in uh, uh, Broncon Spray this morning. Remember, Pastor said, Come out. Amen. Amen. <laughs> She'll definitely be in church on the 5th Amen. of September. Amen. But I always also want us to look mm. uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 26. Matthew 19, verse 26. Hallelujah. I just want us to see the consistency of the word of the Lord. And whenever the Lord, you know, speaks the same thing more than once, I believe uh, it is of utmost importance. And we got to really look and see what the Lord wants us to learn or hear from that particular uh, uh, portion of scripture. Mm. So if you have it, Pastor Pinky, you can read it for us. Matthew chapter 19 and verse uh, 26. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for his word. So, so we saw that in Luke chapter 1, verse 37, Jesus himself saying, with God, nothing shall be impossible. And in Matthew 19, 26, the consistency of mm. the word of God. Amen. Jesus himself, he said it again, mm. that with man, mm. it is impossible. But with God, all things all are, things are possible. possible. So there's a truth that occurs often in Scripture. Amen. There is a truth that occurs often in Scripture. But I want us to focus on our subject this morning. God is able. Amen. So we, we are going to look this morning at some uh, remarkable situations 
in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I use the word remarkable because we see how God went beyond our, our, our dreams. Amen. God went beyond what man can fathom because that's just how God is. He has unlimited power. Amen. God has unlimited power and capabilities. Mm -hmm. So mm. he always supersedes and exceeds what our, our expectations. Yes. It may look like our situations will not turn. Yeah. It may look like uh, 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 it's over with you. Amen. But it is never over until the Lord says so. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Rian Yulis is having a good laugh there. He says, Mora, that that Rian and the cup. Mm. Well, we <laughs> praise God for the rain in the Cape there, my brother. I, I just wish it will come this way very soon. Mm. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so let's go for it, Pastor Pinky, as we look at the unlimited power and the unlimited capabilities of God throughout scripture. Amen. And we're going to be digging into quite a few scriptures this morning right. just to encourage the people of God to Amen. see that God is consistent. Mm. If he did it for Abraham, yes. he can do it for Jacob. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If he can do it for Jacob, Amen. he can do it for David. Amen. He can do it for, for Solomon. He can yes. do it for Samson. Yes. He can do it for Gideon. Yes. But God is faithful Amen. and he is consistent Hallelujah. in making sure that our impo impossibilities they, they they become they get manifested in yes. our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go for it. We can also read this morning from the book of Ephesians, chapter three, verse twenty to twenty-one. Ephesians, verse uh, 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 chapter three, verse twenty to twenty-one. If you have your Bibles this morning, open up your Bibles. Let's walk through the text together this morning. And uh, I was just having a chat with Pastor Pinky yesterday. And I said to her, do you know how important it is every day that uh, 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 we come live like this and we bring our Bibles into the studio yeah. and we open the Bibles? Yeah. You know, uh, um, I think it's also good for you at home mm. to really just cultivate that culture. Yeah. Going through the Bible, opening yeah. up the Bible. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, nothing, nothing is as exciting as the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And for, for those of us who, who, who struggle to find certain books in the Bible, it gets easier. Yeah. Every day as Every you go day. through the Bible, yeah. you begin to find your way easier in the Bible. Yeah. So therefore it's important. We're not trying to shove the Bible down your throat. We have to. <laughs> but we have to. We have to. Peter, you love me. Yes. Feed my feet. Feed my, we have a mandate <laughs> actually to <laughs> feed the to people. To shove it down their to throat. Shove it. Now, you know a baby when the baby doesn't want to eat. Yeah. You open the mouth and yeah. you put the and, food. And you make sure. Eat your vegetables. You make sure. You make sure that they eat. Amen. So it's our duty as well. <laughs> as as you know, the word said, feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. Amen. <laughs> yes. Come praise, to church with your Bible. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. So we're going to be reading from Ephesians. Amen. Chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. <laughs> Verse 20 to 21, the Bible says, Now to him who is able Amen. to do immeasurably mm. more than all we ask or I imagine. But I want us to focus on that. Our it God is able. Five. Now to him who is Three, able. Amen. Our God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. Mm. The Bible says, according to his power yes. that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all, all generations, generations forever, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise to be, rather praise be to God who is able. 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 Amen. Amen. And I love that, Pastor Pinky. He can do immeasurably more than all we can ask. And you know, sometimes we just ask for, for this, yeah. this thing here, mm. but God has this yeah. for, us. for us. And our situation is here, but God can go here yes. Yes. concerning our situation. Oh, yes. He can do more. Yeah. He can do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine. Amen. He always wants to exceed our expectations. That That's is the why we need to dream big. Come on. We need, we must not put limits. Yeah, don't limit God. Mm -mm. No limitations. You said, you said, you spoke when you started, you spoke about the unlimited power Amen. of God. Amen. You know, so we must not limit our thinking and think that 
will God be? We had a chat with a lady last night. Yeah. We went to visit. Yeah. And she shared something very uh, personal with us. Mm. And I was sitting there. I'm thinking she was saying, yo, but not this God, mm. not that, mm. but this. Mm. So I'm thinking to myself, God is able to do that hallelujah so you know who you are you watching us right now yeah believe god for that yeah. don't put a limit to god amen because it's not your own ability Come on now. it's not your own strength raise the lord so raise the bar amen. raise the standard say god if you want me to do this mm. i trust you because you are able amen to do as amen. we just read exceedingly hallelujah. abundantly above all hallelujah. we ask for or think according to the power mm. that works in us amen hallelujah Pra praise god let's dream big let's believe god yeah. you know big and i said to my husband let's start you know writing down what we need the amen. stuff that and we started yesterday amen. going around and i want us to still continue mm. write down everything that we're believing for amen because amen. god is god able do to do exceedingly amen he's able to do big things hallelujah. for us hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord mm. and i love what you're saying we gotta yeah. dream big dream in big. the in the kingdom of mm. god um, even those situations that seem impossible. impossible. And that's why we're bringing this word this morning. Yeah. We're going to be looking at different scriptures Hallelujah. where the Lord went way beyond what the people were expecting because that is just the character of God. He wants Hallelujah. to bless us. He mm. wants to make sure that we are well taken care of. He wants to make sure that everything is going well with you. Hallelujah. That is the heart of God yeah. for you. Hallelujah. Praise our, God. Our economy is not the economy of this no, world. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. It's the not. economy of heaven. Hallelujah. Yes, there's no lack there. Our God. Hallelujah. He owns. Ha, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't remind me of that scripture. He owns. <laughs> Catch yeah, up. yeah. On a thousand years. On a thousand years. Hallelujah. You need to believe it. Come on. Believe it. He can. He can mm. break through. He's the Lord of Amen. the breakthrough. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, um, we want to say this now, this morning, if, if as we look at another scripture in the book of Hebrews chapter mm. 7, uh, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 24 to 25, the Bible says, because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood. Therefore, he is able to yeah. save completely. Huh? This is good. He, he's able. He is able to save. Hebrews 7, verse 24 to 25. Because Jesus lives forever, he has a permanent priesthood, therefore he is able to save completely those who come to God through him, through Jesus, because he always lives to intercede for them. Amen. Now, this is another portion that we got to bring into, in, into, into the picture here this morning, that Jesus saves completely. Meaning, in your life, as a born-again believer, Hallelujah. though we might trip and fall along the way, I want you to understand that you're not going to be born again every time you go to church, mm. you know, to get saved all Just over repent. again. Uh, um, repentance is key, but, but I want to I wanna emphasize this here. Jesus saves completely. Amen. He does a one-time job in your life. Amen. That's why the Bible says, a righteous man falls. Mm. seven times but he gets up again Amen. but please listen to it to, to pastor this now. morning yeah listen to pastor this morning when the bible says a righteous man falls seven times it doesn't mean now yeah. you go and commit sin seven times and then on number eight you're like okay lord <laughs> uh okay now i'm done that that's not what the bible is saying it's not a license but, but, for but you it to is, do it that. is it is a word that that should bring about a change in our yes, lives amen. that though we might trip and fall yeah you know we know we can get up but don't go now and do it seven times exactly uh, uh, um you know All because Jesus saves completely, mm. completely. He does a one-time, one job, one-time job in your life and you are saved. Amen. Hallelujah. I just had to throw that in because we are born again believers. We are washed in the blood of Jesus. We don't leave room for sin. We don't leave room for stuff that's not supposed to be there because we have been saved once and we keep our salvation. Therefore, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling that's how you do it pastor pinky it's a one-time thing that the lord has done by dying on the cross of calvary for you and i Amen. as much as he's able to do big things uh, provide financially yes. uh, uh, do all of these things he also saves us completely the bible says he is able to do that he is able hallelujah 
Amen. to save completely. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Uh, I want to I want to drop uh, um, this in, in, in our spirits this morning. I really want to drop this in our spirits. Uh, Pumlani says, Amen. Unati says, Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Romans chapter four. For those of you that are taking notes, uh, you can go meditate on the scriptures later on. But uh, we can read from the book of Romans chapter four. Romans 4, verse 19 to 21. Romans 4, verse 19 to 21. Mm. And the Bible reads in this order. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old. Or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb, no unbelief made him waver concerning the promises of God, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, fully convinced that God was able Amen. to do what he had promised. Amen. Isn't this beautiful? Yes. I think it is great this morning to understand that the power of God is greater than any situation. Amen. God possesses all power. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this really blesses my life because Paul uh, uh, wrote about, <clears throat> uh, he's referring to Abraham here, that he did not weaken in his faith when he considered his body. He was now an old man. Yes. Remember, when the Lord gave um, Abraham the promise, Pastor Pinky, mm. the promise came at, yeah. the, at the age of 75 yes. to, to Abraham that God will give him the promised child, mm. Isaac. Mm. Sarah was 65 years old. Mm. Abraham was 75 years old. Yes. But it took as long as 25 years, Pastor Pinky. Yeah. People of God, those that are watching, it took 25 years for the promise for Isaac to be born. But Paul is encouraging us through the portion of scripture that uh, uh, our forefather Abraham, he did not weaken in his faith Hallelujah. when he considered his body yeah. that I am an old man. Mm. I, 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 it is impossible. Even Sarah has gone beyond childbearing years. Mm. But God but God, listen, listen to that scripture again, the, the, the last part, uh, verse 21. Mm. No unbelief made him waver concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God. Even in our waiting, Pastor Pinky, we give praise to God. Amen. We give glory Amen. to God. The Bible says Abraham was fully convinced mm. that God was able. Amen. He was fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. And that's what I want to bring to us this morning. Key. Yeah. God is able. Mm. It doesn't seem in the natural that it is going to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It mm. does not seem like it's going to take place mm. in your body, in your life. Mm. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're too old to have a child. Who told you that? Yeah. God is able. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. And he is not a man that he should lie. Amen. If God told you that you are going to have a child in your later years, <laughs> that's if you are looking for one. <laughs> He'll definitely do it. Amen. He's well able. Mm. But the scripture here this morning brings about an encouragement that it took 25 years mm. of waiting. <laughs> Abraham did not waver in his faith. Yes. He did not weaken in his faith. Yes. Child of God, stand on the promises of God because that's what the Bible says. Uh, um, no unbelief made Abraham waver concerning like the promise of God. I like that. He was fully convinced. Fully persuaded. Yeah. Hallelujah. That God was able. Able. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Debbie says, with God, all things are possible. Have great faith. Hallelujah. And that's what it's about. Mm. We need great faith Amen. this morning in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. We Amen. must not waver. God will, will come into that situation. Amen. God will make sure that he mm. gets the glory Amen. out of your situation Amen. because he is able. Hallelujah. And I want to throw this in, the, in, in, in what we are talking about here this morning, mm. that uh, God is God no matter what. Amen. God is God mm. no matter what what we are going through in life. Never, 
ever forget the presence of God. Mm. What, what, where am I going with this one, Pastor Pinky? Mm. Don't forget that the Lord is always with us. Amen. He is always with us. Mm. Therefore, one of my favorite portion of scriptures in the Bible, it speaks about when Jesus just finished ministering to the people of God. Mm. And he said to his disciples, jump into the boat and go to the mm. other side. Mm. Ah, la baya. Very, very beautiful. The mm. presence of God, if ever he speaks to you and tell you do this, mm. he's going to see you through. Amen. He's going to see you through to the Amen. other side. In, in, in the middle of your journey, you, mm. might, you might face what the disciples face. Yeah. The wind, yeah. the storm, mm. the waves. Mm. But the Lord told them to go. And he, if he told them to go, he was going to make sure that mm. he would deal with whatever circumstances mm. that they would face in mm. the future. Yes. I'm trying to say to us today, mm. even the situation you are finding yourself in this morning, Amen. God will take you through to the other yes. side. Hallelujah. He's faithful. Yes. He's able to mm. deal with whatever you are facing Amen. this morning in the name of of, of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Rian says, as a people, we all uh, have a past, but every one of us have a future. Mm. If you have a relationship with God. That's it. Isn't that powerful? Mm. I, I love that. Mm. We all have a future if we have a relationship yes. with God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise mm. the Lord. Now, let's take it a little bit further this morning. Um, do you have promises that God has spoken to you about in his word mm. or, uh, 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 um, you know, from the Bible and confirmed to you, you know, by the promptings of the spirit? I want you to know that those promises will come to pass. Amen. God is able continue to believe the word of God, continue to believe for his faithfulness to you and his limitless ability, Amen. his limitless ability mm. to make sure that those promises will come to pass in your Amen. life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm. I want to go to uh, Matthew chapter 9. This really blesses my life, Pastor Pinky. Mm. Matthew chapter 9, verse 20 to 30. This really, really, really blesses my life. God's limited, limitless uh, ability. Matthew 9. If you got your Bibles this morning, uh, we're going to be reading from uh, um, verse 28 to 30. Uh, Rian says, and never give up. Miracles happen every day. That's powerful. And we're going to look at one powerful miracle right now. That's what mm. we're going to be reading about. We're going to be reading about a miracle. So thank you mm. for dropping that, the, uh, uh, Brother Rian. Uh, Debbie says, cast all your bearings upon the Lord. He's faithful and just and will do great things. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Matthew chapter 9, verse 28. Mm. Verse 28 through to 30. Well, let me read from 27, Matthew 9, verse 27. We're going to read all the way to 30. And the Bible says, And Jesus passed on from there. Two blind men followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. This sounds like a, a bl blind Bartimaeus, but this mm. is not blind Bartimaeus. Mm. You know, all of them shouted the same thing. Mm. Have mercy on us, son of David. But the Bible goes on to further to say that when he entered the house, the blind men came to him and Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? Mm. Hallelujah. Sure. Do you believe that I am able, able Amen. to do this? Amen. Ah, this blesses my soul. Jesus is speaking to, to these two blind men and he's asking them a very powerful question. Do you believe that I am able? And that's our focus this morning. Amen. He is able. And they said, yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, according to your faith, let it be done to you. Let it be done to you according to your faith. Amen. And their sight was restored. Amen. And I want to go back to that question again. What has the Lord promised you? Mm. Do you believe that he's able to do it? And he said to the two blind men, according to your faith, yeah. let it be done unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Continue <laughs> believing, child of God. Whatever promise uh, or whatever situation you are believing God to move in, into that situation in your life and, and deal with it and bring about a breakthrough in that mm. situation in Amen. your life. Amen. I want to ask you that question. Do you believe that the Lord is able to do it? 
Do you believe that? That he is able to do that for you. Rafila says, I believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And keep on believing, Fifi. Mm. Keep on believing. God is able Amen. to do it. Mm. He healed uh, the, the two blind men. He, he, he restored their sight. Mm. Even your, whatever area in your life that needs mm. restoration, God is able to do that for you this morning. Amen. Only if you believe mm. that we serve a great God. Amen. We serve a mighty God. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sandra says, I believe. Amen. I believe. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. The, two, the two men, thank you, thank you, guys. Debbie, I, I see your comments. Debbie says, amen, I believe. Unati says, amen, I believe. These two blind uh, men, even today, uh, with the amazing progress of uh, uh, modern medicine, I just want to bring it out that Jesus had no medical uh, training. Yeah. We're talking about the ability of Jesus here. Mm. Uh, he had no medical training. As a matter of fact, the only training that, that the Bible speaks of is that he was the son of a carpenter. Yeah. You know, so you can already see the background of Jesus. Mm. But as far as medical training is concerned, mm. Jesus was not involved in such. Mm. We're talking about the ability of the God that we serve. Amen. He can do huh, what hallelujah. men cannot do. Hallelujah. Amen. I wish somebody can testify this morning. Where's Gobisa this morning? I mm. wish I wish somebody can testify this morning. The mm. ability of God. Yeah. Uh, 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 Gobisa, if you're still watching, please, yeah, yeah. please, I want you to en encourage somebody. You know, I know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a personal testimony right here. Mm. Um, I want, but I want you to encourage somebody, Gobisa, because now you, you've got, you've got the victory, my sister. Yeah. And uh, this is how we overcome the enemy mm. by the blood of the lamb. Ha and hallelujah. The word of our testimony. And the word of our testimony. I want you to testify, uh, 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 uh Gobisa, if you are still watching. Please, my sister, because, you know, sometimes mm. uh, 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 whenever a pastor is preaching and say, hey, that happened to somebody. Hey, mm. you know, people thinking maybe a uh, pastor is just talking. Mm. Pastor is just talking, mm. uh, trying to stir us up and, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um, put, you know, get us a few goosebumps. And then that's it. No, 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 no. There, there's some real situations mm. where God uh, comes in in an impossible situation Amen. and he does what he's got to do Amen. and he goes beyond you know the medical uh, uh, wisdom and 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 you name it mm. god is god come on Amen. kobisa come on uh, 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 testify this morning mm. of that situation nevertheless if maybe she left the stream i will share on her behalf yeah. if she is not on the stream this yeah. morning uh, um, I, I hope it's okay with you, my no, sister. It's fine. But but this is the deal. Uh, uh, go, go, Gobisa uh, uh, had a, had a, had a, a, a situation where she couldn't conceive mm. for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, her and her husband they believed the Lord uh, for a child. They tried everything. They, they tried everything. You know, medically it seemed impossible. Mm. It seemed impossible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you now, she's a proud mother today mm. of a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Uh, 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 K, K Force says he is uh, the greatest healer. Hallelujah. Uh, Bob says the Holy Spirit now more, uh, now more the doctors. I I'm, think I'm than not sure. doctors, I think. Or oh, no more than the doctors, maybe. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. But but um, that's that's the whole idea right there. So medically, you know, you can be told that this thing will never happen, but Jesus. The great Jesus, healer. Our healer. Mm. Our healer. You know, Go, Go is one of our, uh, our stream people here every, every morning. She's mm. joining us. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, and, uh, you know, it's powerful that we can share, you know, even from the people that are watching here so that yeah. we're not talking some yeah. stuff that is yeah. far-fetched. Mm. Uh, Sandra says, uh, uh, that's God coming through for his own. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He can do it for you this morning. Yeah. Uh, for Go, it was a child. Yeah. What is it for you? What is it that you got to believe God for this morning? The impossible. To, the impossible. Mm. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, Unati says it's all about God's timing. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to do it. So I want to I wanna stir it into your spirit. Mm. Uh, maybe you believe in God for a house. Lord, you know, I need a home. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe the banks, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, you know, they... I will not be able to, to, to get a bond, mm. but I know one great man of God, Yo. and this is his own uh, personal testimony. testimony. 
Amen. The prophet uh, Leon Dupria. This is his own personal yeah, testimony, and he shared it publicly mm. that he and his wife were, were believing God for 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 a house. Mm. They couldn't qualify for Long a bond. Mm. He had no money, mm. but somehow uh, by faith he went to the bank mm. uh, to go apply for this bond. Mm. And uh, suddenly the consultant that was helping them, mm. you know, with shock in his eyes as he was looking at the computer in front of him. He sees a whole lot of money in, in the man of God's account. Mm. And uh, he says, but man, this is like a done deal. Why, why you know, yeah, what are you on about? What, what's your, the question was, yeah. what's your title? What do you do? Yeah, 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 yeah. that was the question. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, <laughs> because there was a lot of money. There was a whole lot of money that and, just. And he said, I'm just a pastor. Yeah. Yeah. And then praise God. Yeah. Praise God. And but, God can do that. Yeah. You know, we just got to walk by faith sometimes and really believe God for the it's impossible. Powerful, my husband, what you're sharing. I yeah. don't think the people are catching it. Well, because there was no, he had nothing in his account. Hmm. But, you know, God is able by his grace, the, uh -huh. the, the banking, the manager there. So, money going through in and out of his account mm -hmm. so because of he, he was shocked he asked the, the the bank manager to turn the screen and show him and he saw for himself that there's money going through my account so god is able to mm -hmm. do what men cannot do <laughs> hi, 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 hallelujah hi, hi. That's hallelujah powerful. I, hallelujah yeah, it just hit me now amen Th those who catch it catch it for yourself sure. may the lord bless you may you get that amen. house may you get that bond approval this morning amen. in the name of jesus Whatever. if you are believing god for that you need amen. a car trust the lord believe that he's well able to provide you with that car he can do it. He can do it. Might be through the bank or somebody can bless you. But I want you to believe God this morning that Amen. he's well able to he's do anything, to do anything in your life. He wants to see your life blessed. Amen. According to your faith. According to your faith. Let it be done unto you. Yes. According to your faith. Yes. He's well able. Sure. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Sandra says that's God's. Uh, uh, that's God right there doing it his own way which leaves us always in yeah, awe yeah. it is god he's able bob says i believe uh, a god for a new car amen bobs and there's nothing amen. wrong with that man believe you know uh, uh, we are children of god yeah and he wants to bless our lives amen. he really wants amen. to amen so this poverty thing when Hi. you're asking god you feel like you are asking too much Hi. who should you be asking exactly and what should you be asking yeah. for yes if you if it's a need in your life amen. ask the lord for it mm. the bible says you do not have because, because you, you do, do not, not ask amen Therefore, or ask your heavenly mm, father to mm, provide a car for you mm. and he will do it for you and we pray for you uh, uh rachel that yes. the lord will bless you with amen. that vehicle amen. in the name of jesus Hallel hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, he says yes amen. amen pumlani i see you i see you man of god unati says we run with that message we caught that pastor mm. uh, pumlani says i received the house in the name of jesus receive it I in the it this name morning. of hallelujah. jesus take it my brother mm. the lord will give it to you mm. the lord will give it to you <laughs> hallelujah Amen. hallelujah praise the hallelujah. lord now let's get back into the word of the lord the bible says in the book of hebrews uh chapter 11 and verse 19 hebrews 11 verse 19 the bible says he considered that God was able mm. even to raise him from the dead, sure. from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. The impossibilities of God, mm. even the dead would rise. Yes. And, and, and we got to bring it back to scripture because this is what it's about. Mm. There, are, there are situations that seemed impossible, mm. but God did it. Amen. Lazarus had to come out of the tomb. Pastor Amen. Amen. You know, mm. this will not end up in death, Jesus mm. said. Mm. This will mm. not end up in death. Amen. Therefore, Lazarus, come out. Mm. Come out. Amen. It was impossible. Mm. A few days have gone past. Mm. People have mourned for him. Yeah. He was dead and buried. But hallelujah, praise Jesus, that when he stepped in, he defied. Uh, he defied. Hallelujah. The grave. He said, I call You cannot keep him. You cannot keep him. Why? God is able to raise him from the dead. Mm. I love this. Amen. I love this. Let's go to Daniel. Let's go to Daniel this morning. Daniel chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. 
we got to see God in this this morning. we got to see the ability of God in, in, in what he wants to do in our lives, in our future. We're not going to walk around through life, you know, uh, um, like we don't know uh, who, who's, who's, who's children we are. We are, the, we are children of the Most High God. Amen. And, and he wants to make sure that we are taken care of. We are looked after. Amen. In every area. Amen. I'm not Our preaching lives. prosperity. I'm not a prosperity uh, preacher gospel. Mm. But but every area of your life, you know, you need to prosper in every area of a your life. That is the will of God for yeah, you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The Lord, the Lord doesn't want you to live your life a poor person. No. No. No, no, no. And uh, I say again, in every area, because you, you might have the money but suffer elsewhere. Yeah. Or you might you might not have the money but but suffer elsewhere. Amen. You know, you you, you, you put it however you want to mm. put it. But mm. I want to speak this in every area of your Amen. life that, you know, the Lord must bless you. And because he's able to do that, mm. I speak that into your life this morning. Amen. I speak that into your life Amen. with his ability Amen. that he will do what you are believing him for. Mm. He will do it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Debbie says, pray and speak the word over situations mm. in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Speak the word. Amen. Over your life. Amen. Now listen to Daniel chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. Do you have it there, Pastor Pinky? Daniel 3, verse 17 to 18. Okay, yes. Amen. Amen. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is always able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. I'm, I'm going to read it again, Pastor Pinky. Mm. I'm going to read it again. Uh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. The Bible says, If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, Listen to this statement. Mm. Once again, the ability of God. The God we serve is able to deliver us from Amen. it. Amen. So whatever affliction you are in today, child of God, respond like Shadrach, Amen. Meshach, and Abednego. That's Amen. the response Amen. we Amen. ought to have. Amen. The God we serve mm. is able to deliver us mm. from this situation. Mm. We will not be stuck in this situation Amen. forever. Amen. But I love what they said later on. Even if he does not deliver us, mm. we're not going to be moved. We are not going to be moved, but we know mm. that he's able to deliver us. Amen. Hallelujah. The Amen. power of God in your life mm. will set you free Amen. from any fiery furnace. Mm. It will deliver you Amen. from any issue, from any trial mm. that you are facing this morning. Mm. And you got to speak that over your life this morning. Amen. The God that I serve is able to deliver me. That's what the three Hebrew boys said. Mm. Their faith in God was so strong. The God we serve. Every day, mm. we wake up, we pray to this God. Mm. We go to church, we, we fast, we tithe, we mm. do whatever it takes to serve yes. this God. Yes. Therefore, this God that we serve will, is able to deliver us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I speak it again over your life. Amen. The Lord is, is able to deliver you from Amen. whatever situation yes. is crippling you right now. In the name of Jesus able to deliver hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I just love the the scripture mm. uh, there's faith we just read the scripture about the 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 two blind men yeah and then we read about abraham yeah about his faith yeah you know mm. and then even now here yeah, they they just said they declared the victory in advance amen they said amen. that our god whom we serve wow. is able wow. to deliver us amen so that was a victory already they spoke it yeah. into being although it was impossible the situation but they declared victory amen in advance amen praise you god. know that our god, god is able to deliver us from the amen. blazing fire that's powerful pastor pinky you know that's powerful so we must declare that victory prior amen declare it amen prior sure 
your faith let it deliver you your ah. faith let it bring breakthrough for you according to your because faith because according ah. to your faith let it be let done it unto, be you. Done unto you so Hallelujah. declare victory Hallelujah. in advance before you even see the mm. breakthrough Thank you, declare Jesus. it into the atmosphere god is able. then god will take that word god is and able. work with it Hallelujah. otherwise then if you declare you you declare uh, your faith is is shaky mm. the enemy will take that and finish you yeah so declare victory i really like what these men you know shadrach meshach and abednego said that our god whom we serve Hallelujah. is able to deliver us i don't know the the, the burning blazing uh, fire yeah. that you are going through right now Amen. but declare Amen. victory hallelujah. declare in the name of breakthrough Jesus. in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus hallelujah sure hallelujah this is powerful praise god pastor pinky amen praise the lord declare yourself that you are dead free amen although you know that you are full of debt yeah but declare amen that my god who is able amen will <laughs> wipe this debt away amen praise my god. god who is able will wipe the sickness away the bible says that the children of god must manifest the glory of god amen so whatever situation mm. you might be facing manifest the glory of god Amen. manifest the, the healing of god Hallelujah. manifest the breakthrough Hallelujah. of god <clears throat> manifest Hallelujah. the glory Hallelujah. of god praise god amen praise god Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Pinky. this is so powerful mm. you know it speaks it speaks into our faith this morning yes. according to your faith let, it, let be done it be done unto you amen what are you really believing god amen. for he's well able to do it even as you talk about uh you know uh, being debt free it's it's one of the comments that that Isabel dropped here. Uh, yeah. She said that we believe God's children to be debt free, supernatural yes, debt cancellation. Hallelujah. I happen. believe that. That's it. That's it. That's I it. take it for myself. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, Isabel says again, Hallelujah. See which is not, uh, 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 which is not according to uh, Hebrews. I'm not sure if I'm catching that. But uh, yeah, Bob says, Amen, Hallelujah. Rian says, God never sends us into a situation alone. Yes. Whatever situation you have, God is with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord, men of God. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, um, the Bible says in the book of Jude, Amen. Jude, uh, 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 um, there's only one chapter there. <laughs> so I'll just call it Jude. Jude, <laughs> verse 24 to 25. Amen. Jude, verse 24 to 25. I'm going to read from the King James Version. The Bible says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. But isn't this powerful, Pastor Pinky, that God, you know, the Bible says he's able to keep us from falling. Yes. We are, we are, we are, we Amen. are in, in the hands of our God. Yes. He's, he's got us. Mm. He's got us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. Now, um, I, want us, I want us to pray this morning. <clears throat> I want us to pray uh, this morning. When I says, Amen, I receive that. Uh, refuel a speaker until you see it. Amen. Unati, Amen. I believe God for so many things and believe is able. Amen. And Unati, keep on. Keep on, family. There's no other way. We got to pursue God and really trust that um, every must. word that is in, in, in the Bible, mm. you know, it's God's word. Therefore, he can never go against Hallelujah. his word. Yes. He can never go yes. against his word. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Isabel says we must see which, which doesn't exist yet. Mm. Call those things that are not. Amen. As they are. Hallelujah. So they are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Praise God this morning. Uh, but but be, be encouraged in your spirit today. Uh, because the reality of what we are seeing really. Yes. A, a lot of us believers, you know, uh, people of God. We are going through uh, mm. uh, some, some challenging times. Yeah. And that's our reality. Amen. Sometimes, you know, we, we must not act like we don't see what is happening. Yeah. People of God are going through challenging times. Be, be it in mm. the workplace, be it in your business, your marriage, whatever the case is. You yes. know, you're going through some some type of fight. Yes. But but our God is well able, uh, child Hallelujah. of God, to take you out of that situation. Amen. <clears throat> 
Jesus said, uh, "Lo, behold, I am with you." Yeah. You know, till the to, to the end of the age. Amen. So He's always there with us. And mm -hmm. earlier, I spoke about the disciples who were in the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, um, um, scripture also says that Jesus was in the boat with them. Yes. <clears throat> so therefore. It speaks of us mm. uh, 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 um, knowing that the presence of God is with Amen. us. And where, wherever our God is, mm. uh, there's definite, definitely breakthrough. Mm. He, he'll quiet any storm Amen. in your life. Amen. But uh, before we close, um, you would remember that the disciples, they were crying out in fear. Mm. You know, Jesus, Master, uh, don't you care that we, we're going to die? Yet mm. Jesus was with them. He was in the boat with mm. them <clears throat> and they suddenly shifted their focus yes. from 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 uh, uh, you know experiencing the, the miracles mm. that Jesus did while he was with them mm. their focus shifted from mm. knowing that mm. we, we we have the son of God with us mm. they forgot that because of their situation mm. don't let the enemy blindfold you this morning mm. and, and tell you that the Lord is not in the boat with you he is in the boat with you Amen. and he's well able to quiet that storm. Yeah. It took Jesus no longer, not, not even longer than five minutes mm. to, 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 to arise and to deal with that situation. Sure. Mm. Peace, be still. Peace. That's peace all. Still. He had authority. Peace, Amen. be, be still. still. Amen. And I believe he's mm. in your boat with you this morning Hallelujah. and he is going to quiet that storm in your life mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He's able to do it. Mm. I, I am believing God for you this morning. Amen. I, I, I am believing God to do something in your life this morning. Amen. That that situation you are in, he is going to deal with it mm. because he's able to Amen. do it in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Therefore, don't give up. Mm -mm. Don't, don't give up, child of God. Amen. Uh, uh, may the Lord bless you. May, may he deliver you from that situation. May you testify of the goodness of God uh, uh, um, when he delivers you out of that situation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Okay, yeah. family, we're going to pray right now. We're going to pray and just really believe the Lord for breakthrough mm -hmm. in your life because he's well able to do that. But I want you to pray for yourself. It's always so powerful when you commit yourself and your situation to the Lord. The Bible Amen. says when we commit our plans to him, he, he will establish those plans. Amen. So even, even whatever desires you have this morning, I pray. I pray that the Lord will, will definitely break through on Amen. your behalf. But pray Amen. for yourself as well. Amen. Be sincere in your heart. Be sincere and really cry out to the Lord this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, let's just pray together. Kila Bario Sata. Ma bro koterebo si kalabaye. Lando lobo sakala la baria su brabakata. Zi dalamanto lobo sa. Let's pray together, family. Whatever you are believing God for, trust, trust in the Lord this morning. Put your trust in the Lord this morning that He will come through for you. He will come through for you in the name of Jesus. Every single one of you watching this morning, I speak the blessing of God over you. I speak the grace of God. I speak the mercy of God over your life this morning, that the, the Lord will carry you even in your situation this morning. Whatever difficulty you are facing, whatever mountain that is standing in front of you, I declare that it will melt like wax before you in the name of Jesus. We say, arise Jehovah. Let every single one of your enemies be scattered this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, I commit every person, Father, this morning to you. You are well able, even as we've just uh, read through your word about your capabilities, about your unlimited power. I thank you today, Father, that you move by your might this morning. You move in an unprecedented way in the lives of your people. And I come against every plan of the enemy. Father, every plan of, of stagnation uh, according uh, uh, concerning the plans of or your plans over your people this morning in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you unblock everything, Father, that has been blocked even in the spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we tear down, we, 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 we break yes. down, we yes. tear down, we uproot, Father, yes. every spirit of stagnation yes. and blockage yes. over God's people. Mm. Those that are sick in body, we yes. declare healing over you. Yes. We, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Mm. We dip you in the blood of Jesus. Yes. I pray for the healing virtue of God. Mm. 
to flow in your body this morning. Maybe it's for your family member. We bring them before the throne of grace. We pray for healing in their body. That impossible situation, Father, where the doctors have declared that they're going to switch off the machines, where the doctors have declared that it is over, they will not leave. But we speak life over those people. We speak the Zoe life yes. of God yes. in the name of Jesus. Just like Jesus spoke to those two blind men, do you believe that I am able to do this? Father, by faith we believe. Just like Abraham, we are persuaded. We are convinced that you are well able yes. to do what you have promised to do in your word in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I give you the praise, I give you the honor, yes. and I give you the glory. Yes. Those that are believing you for finances and yes. provision, yes. Father, yes. I bless them this morning. Yes. I thank you that you will mm. do it for them you, in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Thank you. I pray for Father, every struggling business, we bring it before your throne of grace. Yes, we Lord. pray for clientele, Father. Mm. We pray for feet, Father, yes. to come into that business yes. in the name of Jesus. You, Jesus. I pray for marriages, Father, mm. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We commit them to you. Yes, we speak Lord. the peace of God. Yes. We quiet every storm yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. You, Let Jesus. the love of God mm. come into your marriage this morning yes, in Lord. the name of of Jesus. You, Jesus. May the Lord hold you closely knitted together yes, to your wife and to your husband yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. What the Lord has put together. Yes. Let no man put yes. a thunder this morning in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. We rebuke every spirit of yes. division, yes, every Lord. spirit of disunity. Yes, we Lord. come against it in the Jesus name of name. Jesus. Yes, Therefore, Lord. we speak oneness, mm. Father. Yes. We speak synergy in yes, the marriages. Yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, we pray Thank for you, our Jesus. children, Father. Yes. We come Cover them in the blood of oh, Jesus, yes, that the Lord. enemy will not have his way mm, with, with our, our children, children, with yes. the next generation, Father. Yes, Lord. Separate them, Father. Yes, Consecrate Lord. our mm. children for your youth, Father, yes, in the name of Jesus. You, Jesus. Therefore, we say, be glorified, yes. mighty God. Yes. We pray for our jobs, mighty God, yes, that Lord. you will preserve our jobs. Thank you, you will Jesus. protect our jobs. Mm. Our jobs will not be taken away from us, mighty yes, God, Father. in the name of of Jesus. You, Jesus. We come against even this, this coronavirus, Father, mm. that is causing people to be unemployed. We speak employment. We, we speak employment in the name of Jesus. Name of Father, Jesus. I thank you today. Yes. You yes. are well able yes. to do this, Father, yes. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray even for this ministry. Yes. And we pray even for other churches, Father. Mm. Every other ministry, we pray for them. Mm. May you bless them, Father. May you increase, Father, in, their, in any other ministry. We pray for souls mm. to come into the kingdom of God this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Father, deliver your people. Set them free. We speak salvation yes. over the people of God. Even your family members, those that are watching this morning, mm. those that are not born again, we pray for them in the name of Jesus that the Lord will bring them from, from, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light this yes. morning Amen. in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you mm. and we glorify you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Amen. The Lord is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Family, we see your comments. Unati, amen. Uh, 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 she says, yes, Lord. Uh, Babs, we agree in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Connie Barkis, I see you. Mm -hmm. Isabel, mm -hmm. she says, in agreement in Jesus' amen. mighty name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is so good to us, people of God. Sandra, all of you. Uh, uh, K-Force, Rian Yulis, all of you. Thank you for joining this morning. We love you. We bless you. Remember, tomorrow morning, uh, we have our Saturday morning prayer. Oh, yes. Don't miss out. Yes. Saturday morning prayer. Yeah. We are praying tomorrow morning, mm. just before we get into our assignment for tomorrow. Uh, um, so please uh, make sure that you join tomorrow at 6 a.m. for the Saturday morning prayer. Praise the Lord. Mm. And of course, Sunday morning, uh, 10 a.m., mm. Don't miss out. Mm. Don't miss out. Mm. Uh, 10 a.m. We're going to have a great move of God. Amen. And then in the evening, Amen. 5 p.m., uh, we will be continuing this coming Sunday with our membership classes. So those of you that are in the house, that are 
uh, um, in the way evangelistic ministry. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are having our membership classes uh, coming this Sunday, 5 p.m. So we encourage every single one of you to be there, mm -hmm. not to be missed. It's our first. It's our first membership class. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, this is your opportunity. If you say you want to be uh, uh, a member of this ministry, then we're going to take you through the vision uh, and the mission of the church. And then you can make up your mind based on that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's very important it's that important. you know, you, you know, know the vision of your church. Yeah. You mustn't be caught uh, 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 by surprise five years down the line. <laughs> and then you say, I didn't sign up for this. Exactly. Yeah. So, so come this Sunday, 5 p.m., we're going to have our membership class. We're going to share the vision of the church and the mission of the church. Amen. And uh, we can take it from there. Amen. Amen. Mm. The Lord bless you. We love you. I'm Evangelist Tabo Mahasani, your favorite evangelist, together with my beautiful African queen, Pastor Pinky. We're going to spot you guys tomorrow at 6 a.m. Make sure you wake up a few of your friends, family members. Amen. We ought to be praying. Amen. We must continually make sure that the altar, the, the fire is burning yeah. in the altar yeah. of God. Every yeah. day, every yeah. day we are in the presence Amen. of God. Hallelujah. So come on, let's keep the fire burning. Amen. That the incense, incense, day and night, day yes. and night. Yes. Let incense arise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Family, we love you. We love you so, so much. Uh, K Force, she says, Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, um, Isabel says, Please remember mm -hmm. our outreach on Saturday. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's the assignment I was referring to. Mm -hmm. But uh, praise God. We will we'll be together tomorrow then. Mm. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen. Well,